Let's get back to our guest, though, Dr. Mark Farber. Dr. Doom is staying with us live from our studios up in uh, Hong Kong. Dr. Uh, Farber, let's start clearing some emails because they're starting to back up. We've got a lot of people writing in wanting to, to ask you questions and to talk to you. This is Tyrone writing in from uh, Missouri. He says, in the long run, don't you see inflation going through the roof in America and the dollar collapsing? What do you figure? Well, we have different uh, economic schools. We have the Austrian school, the school of uh, rational expectations, monetary schools and so forth. In the U.S., we have a totally new school, and it's called the Zimbabwe School. And it's uh, founded by one of the great leaders of this world, Mr. Robert Mugabe, that has managed to totally impoverish his own country. And that is the monetary policy the U.S. is pursuing. If something goes wrong, print. If it doesn't get fixed, print more. Uh, okay, if okay. it then Ho goes even worse, print more. Okay, hold on here. You're not talking about 200% inflation, hyperinflation, uh, are we? Well, not yet, not yet. But I think eventually, if I look at government debt in the U.S. and debt in general, I think the only way uh, they will not default physically on their debt is to inflate. And so I suppose that in the long run you will get much higher inflation rates than what we have now. The problem being that I don't see how the Federal Reserve will ever again increase interest rates to a level where they will be real. In other words, where you have real returns above the rate of inflation and where short-term rates are above nominal GDP growth. I don't see that coming. Okay. And so eventually we will get inflation. Look, uh, if, the, if the government, if the feds, if policymakers in the U.S. are getting it so wrong, uh, here's the other part of uh, Tyrone's uh, question as well. It says, is America potentially going to become a third world country, and therefore <laughs> is gold and silver going to go through the roof? Well, I wrote two years ago a report entitled Is America Becoming a Banana Republic? And there are some features that characterize banana republics, uh, totalitarian states, very strong government intervention into the economy, and the polarization of wealth. And we have all these trends occurring in the U.S. We are not yet there, and in theory it could be reversed, but I doubt it will be.